Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to print a pyramid shape pattern in Java. Okay, so we will take input from user that how many lines user wants to print and then we will print the number of lines. Okay, so for that let's begin it. <clears throat> First of all what we will do, we will write import java.util.scanner okay to take input from user the next we will create class class name we will give then after opening braces public static void main these are the work that we are doing it continuously and frequently so next work is after the creation of class and then we will create main function then after we will create the object of scanner class and we will give a message to the user for input before that let's declare some variables so we are going to declare some variables what are the variables that we required okay so let's see for variables we need different kind of variables for <coughs> printing the pattern because it's uh, we are going to use here what we are going to use nested loop here so that for that we need different counter variables you can see that i have declared i j we need to count space especially we have to leave space so that's why we have taken a variable space the initial value of space we are going to keep it one let's give a message to the user okay <clears throat> we are going to give a message to the user that enter the number of rows means how many lines you want to print the triangle or pyramid so let's give the message that enter the number of rows after this message we need to take input from user so we are going to create the object of scanner class so that we can receive input from user okay for that we will create uh, we will write scanner the name of the class then object name it can be anything else we will write sc equal to new operator to allocate the memory then again scanner and then in, in argument we will write system.in so in this way we will be able to create the object of scanner class then after what we are going to do with the help of this object we will receive the input by using the next int method okay so we will write there i haven't declared any variable to store the number of rows so let's declare a variable here we'll declare int n okay we are going to declare int n that will store number of rows entered by the user then after we will write here n equal to sc dot next int so in this way we will receive the uh, number entered by the user in n after this we will use and we will put space equal to n minus 1 what we are going to do we are going to reduce the value of space by 1 because see what happens if user enters the number of rows 5 then we have to print one star one symbol in the first line and rest of the four will be space so that's why we have put here space equal to n minus one so for beginning we will have four spaces and then one star will be printed okay now the loop will run from where from j to <coughs> the initial value of j will be one and it should be run lesser or equal to n n means num uh, um, suppose here five then it will go one to five okay System dot out dot print ln means what we have to print what we have to print we are going to print star okay so one star is printed here then again opening braces we will close it space we have to put space space means the variable which contains the number of spaces it has to be decreased also yes after each row number of spaces will be decreased first row four space sec, uh, second row three space third row it will be two space and fourth row one space and in the last row there will be no space so let's run the second loop <clears throat> the second loop will be here that for that is i equal to one and it should be lesser or equal to two into j minus one two into j minus 1 means double of j minus 1 whatever the current value will be okay so the first one the first loop is responsible for printing the number of spaces second loop will be responsible for printing the star 
okay now so let's write here what we are going to write here we will again put a space here and then we will close it our work is over let's put the closing braces after putting the closing braces means number of opening and closing braces has to be equal otherwise there will be compilation error now <clears throat> after uh, seeing that everything is okay let's go to file and save we will save our program with the pattern name and save as type will be all files pattern.java let's save it click on the save button <coughs> your file will be saved now it's time to run the program let's go to f drive let's write cd space java programs means the folder of java program will be open let's compile the program for the compilation of program what we have to do we have to write java c space pattern.java after few seconds you will see that the program is successfully compiled now enter the number of rows suppose i enter 5 if i enter 5 i'll get this like share and subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest notification.